Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be going over uh, female head angles and it's just going to be the same as the male head angles and um, really it's just softening it more so. So honestly you could really just take a male head and just soften it um, and kind of just transform it into a girl. Um, but anyways, it'll just be the same process once again. So let me start with our straight ahead female. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom in a little bit so it's easier to see. So here, I'm not going to be drawing features on this one. I'm going to be just drawing the the head and then just adding proportion lines uh, so it's easier. Uh, so we can add features easier. So first, let's start off with our cranium. Once again, you know, very simple, just a circle. Very, very light as well. I don't know if you can see it, but let me darken it just a little bit. There. Then you want to draw the center line. It doesn't have to be completely center, but just do your best. And for the girl, I would say shorten it a little bit. Don't make it too long. Of course, change it uh, depending on how you want to. And then start from the cranium and then drag it down. Make sure that for the girl, you want to make sure that the bottom part is thinner than the top part. Just because it kind of looks more innocent and childish. So unlike the guys, you don't want to you know, make it too pointy. You want to kind of round it out a bit more. So notice how it's not like a 90 degree air angle or like a sharp angle it's more rounded and then curve it down like so same thing on the other side and then just drag it down and bend it slightly so notice how it's not bending like too high or too low uh, usually it has like a nice like you can just divide it in by threes or fours. Uh, I kind of go by eye when it comes to, you know, dropping the jawline. You'll notice when it's too narrow if the chin ends too short. you also notice that if your chin ends too long, uh, you did it too high. So kind of just do it in the middle or more on the lower end. So notice how I draw lightly and then I darken as I, you know, finalize my drawing. So here we have our neck, which is a lot thinner. So make a thin, but not like a penciled neck. Just make sure it can support her head. And we can draw the curves of a trapezius. So we can end it there for our first head. If we want to draw our proportion lines, we can go ahead and draw the eye line, which is around the middle. Then our nose can be a little bit higher just to give it a cuter look, as well as the mouth can be a little bit cuter, so it's higher up. And then our eyebrow line can be a bit higher because we're going to make the eyes a bit larger. So it's going to be up here. And then our hairline starts up here. Make sure that you give enough room for the scalp to run. So that is our first head. Then, oh, don't forget to add the ears. The ears start from about the end of the nose to about the, uh, to about the ear, to about the eye line. It looks a little bit uneven, so you can either change one to fit the other or vice versa. So that is your uh, female head for the straight version. You can see that once we have the, all the correct markings and making sure that it's all nice and set, it'll be a lot easier to put in the features that way. Now let's go ahead and do our side view. So once again, just draw your cranium. Make it a little bit more oval this time. Don't make it too round. Then once again, draw a little mask in the front and end it pretty short, not too short, not like up to here, but a little bit longer. In this case, the jawline won't be, won't be as visible, so try not to draw the jawline all the way, just kind of indicate it a little bit, just by like just hinting it, you know, uh, adding in the ear, hint it as well. And here I have the neck, which you just drag it down. And then you have the back of the head, which curls down to the neck. So notice how it kind of has this oval shape. Of course, uh, erase any other excess lines. And now we can get started with uh, putting in our features. Well, not features, our proportion lines. So eye line will be around here. Our eyebrow line will be a little bit above. Nose line be a bit a little bit higher. And the mouth will be higher as well. 
And now let's finally go ahead and draw our three quarter head. So notice how it's a lot easier drawing the female because you just round it out. It's basically very similar to the guy version, just not sharp. Now for the three quarter, I always like to draw a cranium first, as always. Make it a little bit more oval on the other side here. We always have to draw our center line first so we can know what angle we're heading at. We have our eye line as well, so we can also add that. So as you can see, adding the eye line and the, and the center line makes the direction pretty clear. That's why we do the crosshair look. So we want to drop it down. Then as it goes down, we want to draw a kind of like a little cheek that bulges out. So we bulge it out from here and then curve it in. And that's kind of like your where your uh, cheekbone kind of goes out. For girls, it's a little looks. You want to make it her look a little bit chubbier, so go ahead and just stretch, make it more outward. Here we have a jawline, and we just want to indicate it. We don't want to make it too strong of a statement, so we're just going to kind of just indicate it by not putting too much line, but just kind of like making the two lines create that image. I think it's called a gestalt or gestalt. In fact, I would actually make this just a little bit higher for that, so it doesn't look too low. I usually like to add it around the nose line. I would like to add about here and make it a little bit smoother rather than too bulged out. So that looks pretty good so far. And then our nose line will be up here, our mouth line here, our eyebrow line up here. And then here we have our neck. So that is pretty much that for our main head views. Now, because I have some more time, we can go ahead and add some more extra head views. Uh, these are just more that you would find a bit more common in different angles, so let's get started with that. So first is our, uh, let me think, I would say first of all would be our downward three-quarter view. which once again you draw your cranium and then you draw in the top of the center line and then drag it downward as if you're looking down at her head. This is the top side of the box of her head here. Here is her eye line, more lower. So notice how I'm wrapping my uh, crosshairs as like a circle here and that's because the head is generally pretty round. Here is her cheekbone which ends a little bit, a little bit shorter and then everything just kind of squishes inward or downward. Here's her uh, jawline and then her ear. Here for her neck, you kind of see it more squished. So you can see more of the clavicle. Clavicle kind of going up where you can sort of see the top version of it. Here's the nose, the mouth, and the eyebrows approximately. So that's one way. Uh, I forgot to draw a downward version of a guy. Uh, so let me go ahead and label this. So, or let me just draw it side by side down here. So when it comes to a downward, full downward view, uh, the head will look kind of similar to like an oblong shape. So it starts thick up here or on the back side. And then as it gets more forward, our head gets a little bit thinner. Our ears are about here, our nose, and you can sort of indicate the rest from down here. Here is our trapezius and our, cl our clavicle, and so on and so forth. So you don't really have to, we don't really do this very often when it comes to illustrations. It's not very necessary, um, but that's what it would typically look like for both guys and girls. For girls, it would just be a little bit softer. It'll just look pretty much very similar, but notice how I'm making it softer here. Here's her ears, and here's her nose, which looks a little bit uh, smaller and thinner. Now you don't have to do this, once again, I'm just showing you guys what this looks like. So this is M, and this is female. Hopefully that helps. So now let's go ahead and draw in our three-quarter view, uh, upward and downward. 
or sorry, upward here. Our upward view. You want to always, of course, round out your cross lines because you're kind of looking up so you can sort of see the rounder version. Oops, you can lift that up. So notice how I'm kind of caving inward and making the cheekbone or the kind of squished bit a little bit higher. And then here I'm kind of indicating the, the, uh, the bottom of the chin here, as well as the jawline. And then I'm kind of thinning out or indicating the neck as well. So notice how it leaves some space because that's a little bit of the fat pad underneath our chin. And, and then I'm going to go down with the neck. So if you look at like Bakemono Gatari, um, that's, that's an anime. They do a lot of head tilts like this for some reason. Maybe it's a stylistic choice for the studio, but I remember they, I, I forgot what the studio is called, but I remember they always did those, head, those ridiculous head tilts that make your neck break. But, um, you know, that's kind of how it is. So here's your eyebrow line. Your nose line, which appears a little bit higher because you're looking up. And then you have your mouth line. And now let's go ahead and do a little bit more of a fun kind of condescending kind of um, condescending kind of look here. So some people uh, like queen like queen like uh, queen like characters will kind of have this kind of head tilt that you're looking that she's looking kind of upward. Like Arena, for example, she would kind of have this kind of uh, Arena from Food Wars. She would kind of um, have this like very head tilted look and as she's looking down at you. So to do that kind of head, you would just want to understand the head angle that she's in. So make sure that the eye line is more rounded. If you want to draw kind of like a back, you have a side, oops, that's a little bit big for the, that's a little bit big for the, um, ear. But yeah, once you have the ear, then you can go ahead and make her neck. You can draw her neck, and then you can also draw a little bit of trapezius and kind of have her looking over the shoulder. Eyebrow line, nose, mouth. So once again, you know, very uh, simplified, very, just once again, you know, the same process over and over. So here are the head views, straight, side view, uh, three quarter, and then some variations on that as well as some bottom views. I would say, oh, one more thing for top views here. Uh, I would say just a really a bit of an add on. Top views are very hard. You don't have to do them very often, but just kind of imagine this as a box. So draw a box in top view or not top view, looking up so you can see the bottom of the, of the box here. You can add in the features here. So nose, eyes, uh, nose, eye, wait, sorry, nose, eyes, eyebrows, and then bottom of the chin goes down here. And this kind of, this is even hard for me. I still have to practice doing it, but generally you would kind of start off with a box and then the, and then the neck kind of stretches outward. But this is just a very, very uh, brief kind of way to draw it. Of course, it's not perfect, so I'm not really going to include it, but uh, that would generally be how you would start it. Anyways, that's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.